Today we're reading a story about a man and his favorite hat. The title of our story today is Uncle Nacho's Hat. Let's begin. Let's find out all about Uncle Nacho's hat. Every morning, Uncle Nacho woke up with the sun. He said, Good morning to his cat and his dog. He said, Good morning to his parrot and his monkey. And he said, Good morning to his hat, which was old and full of holes. Uncle Nacho lit a fire to make his morning coffee. When the fire started to go out, he fanned it with his hat. But since his hat was full of holes, it didn't do any good. The little house filled with smoke. The cat meowed. The dog barked. The parrot screeched. The monkey screamed. And Uncle Nacho began to yell at his hat. You're useless and full of holes. You're no good for anything anymore. Uncle Nacho! Uncle Nacho! came a voice at the door. It was Ambrosia, Uncle Nacho's niece. She always stopped by in the mornings to visit on her way to school. What's the matter, Uncle Nacho? Is the house burning down? No, Ambrosia. I'm just fighting with my hat again. It is no good to me anymore. You say that every morning, Uncle Nacho. So, today, I have a present for you. It's a new hat. <gasps> Uncle Nacho put on his new hat and looked at himself in the mirror. See how handsome it makes you look, Uncle Nacho? Says Ambrosia. It's true. All the girls will fall in love with me. That's for sure, Uncle Nacho. Well, I have to go to school now. I will come by later. Take care, Ambrosia, and thank you for the hat. Now I have a new hat, says Uncle Nacho to himself. But what am I going to do with the old hat that is not good for anything anymore? Hat, he said. What am I going to do with you? I know. I'll put you in my trunk. Wait a minute. What if the mice get in and start to eat you? No, no, no. I better not put you in my trunk. But Hat, you're really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. You don't keep me dry in the rain. I should throw you away. I will just take you outside right now and throw you away in the street. Wait a minute. I think I see a car coming. You might get run over. No, no, no. I better not throw you away in the street. But Hat, you're really not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. You don't even keep the sun off my head. I should throw you away. I'll take you outside right now and throw you in the trash. There. A good man might find you. Someone who will appreciate you. A decent person. God bless you both. Uh, even though the hat is old, he still wants someone that will appreciate the hat. Aww. That's nice. A few moments later, along came Chabella, Ambrosia's mother. She was coming from the market and was trying to count her change. Then, she saw Uncle Nacho's hat. I know that hat. It's Uncle Nacho's hat. Somebody must be playing a trick on poor old Uncle Nacho. Hat, you are coming with me right away. I am taking you home to Uncle Nacho. Haha, uh -huh, he can't get rid of that. Look, Uncle Nacho, look what I found. Your hat. 
Thank you so much, Chabella. But I threw this whole heart away because your daughter Ambrosia gave me a new one. See? Doesn't it look good on me? Ambrosia gave you a new hat? So you throw away the old one? Aye! How will anyone know you without your hat? You're right, Chabella. Thank you. And Uncle Nacho took back the hat. He can't get rid of this hat. So far, he tried putting it out on the street. No, no. So far, he tried. He thought about putting it in the trunk. He thought about putting it in the street. And now he threw it in the garbage. But he still has the hat. Let's see what happens next. But in truth, hat. You're not good for anything anymore, said Uncle Nacho. I really should throw you away. This time, I am taking you far away from here. Then my heart will break when I think about you. So, Uncle Nacho took his hat to the very edge of town, where the town became the country and he hung it on the branch of a flowering tree. There, at last we can say goodbye. Do you think the hat will come back again? Let's find out. Under the tree, an old gentleman was just waking up from his nap. He saw Uncle Nacho's hat. Sir, sir, you forgot your hat. I am leaving it here, said Uncle Nacho. It isn't any use to me anymore. Can you give it to me then? Take it. The hat is yours. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uncle Nacho watched the old gentleman walk away wearing the hat. At last, a deserving person has my hat. May it serve him well. The old gentleman was so happy with his hat that he didn't see Pedro and Paco following him. Hey, look, said Pedro. That old guy is wearing Uncle Nacho's hat. He must have stolen it. We're taking back the hat you stole, cried Paco. I didn't steal it, protested the old man. That's a lie. You stole it. The boys and the old gentleman fought over the hat until it was completely torn apart. Oh. Finally, the boys grabbed it and ran away. We got it. Let's take it to Uncle Nacho. Uncle Nacho will be happy to have his hat. Uncle Nacho! Uncle Nacho! What's going on, boys? Look what we've got. We've got your hat back from the old gentleman who stole it. Uncle Nacho was angry. I gave that hat to that old gentleman. And now you ruined it. It isn't even a hat anymore. Uncle Nacho took what was left of the old hat and slammed the door. A little later, Ambrosia arrived for a visit on her way home from school. What's the matter, Uncle Nacho? Why aren't you wearing your new hat? I've been so busy worrying about my old hat and brochure. The more I try to get rid of it, the more it comes back. I don't know what to do. Ambrosia thought for a few minutes. Stop worrying about your old hat, Uncle Nacho. Think about your new hat instead. Ah, I never thought of that before. How intelligent you are, Ambrosia. Uncle Nacho put on his new hat. Hat, let's go. I am taking you to meet my friends. Look, look at what people said. I like your hat. What a nice hat, Uncle Nacho. Your hat looks great. And Yeah.